Hello all and today we will be discussing about how to connect to a Linux EC2 instance using SSH. This is my AWS account and as you see um, I have launched an EC2, a Linux EC2 instance over here. Okay, let's review the properties of this uh, Linux instance. So as you see the instance type is T2 micro. I have uh, created a special security group over here. So let's click on the security group. As you see, the outbound is by default and for inbound, I have kept uh, port 22 open for any TCP connections going into it. Let's go back to our instance. Let's select my instance, okay. And Oops, the second one after this. This one. Okay, now this particular instance has a public IP address because I had requested or uh, basically enabled auto assign IP. This instance has been launched in my default VPC. Okay, so let's copy the public IP address since we are planning to SSH in into this instance. And rest of all the other properties are by default. Another thing that I would like to highlight, uh, and this is especially important if you want to SSH into a Linux instance, is the key pair that is being used. So as you see over here, I'm using my AWS Ohio key pair. And this is the key pair that I will be using to SSH into this instance. Okay, so now let us look at how we can go about uh, connecting to this instance using SSH, okay? So this is my uh, AWS Ohio key pair and as you see, I've created a public key and a private key. I'll show you how I've generated these keys. So let me delete them. As you see, there are two uh, utilities over here, uh, putty exe and putty gen.exe. So in order to generate a public key and a private key, you need to leverage puttygen.exe. So let's uh, run puttygen.exe. As you see, this is currently empty. And the type of key that we are going to generate is going to be of type RSA. So let us open our existing key files. We click on load. So let's click on load. Okay. And as you see over here, it is looking for file types PPK. If you can go over there and select all files and then select your .pem file that you had downloaded and then click on open. So as you see, it has successfully imported my key file. Okay. Now, in order to save the public key, I need to click on save public key. And then basically what I do is, this is the format that I follow just to make it simple. And I say public key.ppk and save it. So this is a saved our public key as you can see, it's right here. Now we want to go ahead and save our private key. What it is telling us now is whether you want to use a passphrase to protect your private key. Now generally this is a, a good practice or a best practice, but for this demo I'm just going to uh, save the private key without the passphrase. I'm going to click on yes. Okay, and I'm going to give it a similar name except for public key. I'm going to save it as private key and then click on save. Okay, so now we have our private key and public key saved. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to use this particular utility, putty.exe, to SSH into our Linux instance. So let's click on putty. We are going to copy our IP address here. So this is my IP address. And as you remember, the port is 22. This is the same port that is open uh, as, far, as far as inbound communication is concerned in our security group. Then we are going to go further down, go to click on SSH and under SSH click on auth and here click on the browse button as you see is public, sorry, private key file for authentication. So we are going to go ahead and select our private key file. So this is my private key file, so I'm going to select that, click on open. Again, click on open. So this is saying yes. 
basically it has connected to the house so click on yes if you want to go ahead and connect now by default the credentials uh, that are used to connect to an uh, ec2 instance especially linux ec2 instances ec2 hyphen user okay so i'm going to use that and click on enter as you see i'm connected to the ec2 instance it's uh, connected right here okay and if you want to go ahead and you know run any command here you go I don't have anything on this instance is a brand new instance so nothing is going to show up so let's do one thing let's see if this instance if I've truly connected this instance and this instance is uh, does have a private public IP so I should be um, able to execute any updates on this instance right and it is in my default vpc so it is connected to an internet gateway as well so in order to execute any kind of uh, updates on this machine i will have to log in as a as a root user so in order to log in as a root user what you need to type is uh, sudo su and that should uh, log in you as a root user as you see it's right here so now you are logged in as a root user so let's try and install some things so we're going to say here say yum install um, i'm going to try and install httpd okay so um, this is the command yum install httpd so hit on enter and as you see it has started installing httpd i'm going to continue with the installation and there it is it's completed uh, installation of httpd on my machine Let's try something else. Let's say yum install docker. And all of these are simple yum commands. Okay, so you can just say yum install docker and hit enter. And I'm going to allow it to continue with the installation. And as you see, the installation is uh, currently in progress. And it will continue and probably finish in a little bit. So yes, my installation has completed and we have successfully installed httpd and docker on this particular linux instance so that's it for me guys uh, do let me know if you have any other questions or suggestions uh, if you would like me to create videos on any other topic um, please do uh, post it down in the comments and i will certainly make sure that i post a video as soon as possible thank you and have a nice day bye bye